Welcome to Pharmacist Diaries, Serena. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited. Yeah, no, I came across your profile on LinkedIn and I was like, this woman is right up my street. I have to contact her. We have all the same passion. Like, this is going to be a good conversation. I really appreciate you going out your comfort zone and doing something different in a way, getting, well, interviewed or having a conversation with someone that you don't know, which is always very exciting for me because now... I've interviewed well over 50 pharmacists, a lot of which I don't know. It's nice to increase my network, but thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for having him. And it's so exciting talking to you as well. (laughs) Cool. So we usually kickstart the episodes by asking you why you decided to become a pharmacist in the first place. So I guess for me, I think for any sort of teenager 15 16 year old trying to figure out what it is that you want to do is just crazy how at that age do you expect to know what you want to do and so for me I think it was I like science and I like talking so what profession can I find that accommodates the both of them and I think for me I wanted a I wanted a degree which I could then get a job out of quite easily and so pharmacy just seemed like a good fit But it was only when I did work experience for a couple of weeks did I realise, okay, yeah, pharmacy is really for me. So I worked in a community pharmacy and there are so many misconceptions, as we're all aware of, with community pharmacy. And being at that age, admittedly, I had all those misconceptions as well. And it was only being on the other side of it, seeing what the pharmacists are, seeing how the pharmacy teams work, the challenges that they have to overcome, and that pharmacist just being a pillar in that community and just being a fountain of knowledge to people. I really admired that. And so for me, it was like, okay, I think, yeah, this is what I want to do. I can see myself doing this, I think. And yeah, it just went from there, really. Yeah, there's a lot of chat in community pharmacy. It's good. Yes. If you like talking, it's a good place to be because once you get to know your customers, there's the regular banter, yeah. the regular conversation about how you are, the family members, and uh, you feel like you said, you're the, the pillar of the community and you really feel mm. like you're at the heart of the community in community Very pharmacy, much. which as a student, I worked in community pharmacy and that pharmacy that I worked at was really good. And those misconceptions are sometimes due to the specific pharmacy you might have worked at and might not have suited you. And it's always good to try, whether it's starting off with a big chain or kind of retail pharmacy and then trying out an independent. Because for me, I think independent pharmacies suit me so much more than working for the bigger chains. They are very much business oriented in the same way. They're money-making machines, aren't they? Though they are patient-centered. But at the same time, I feel me when I worked in a small, it was quite a small town, like a small village. You got to know the patients really well. And that was the aspect of the role that I enjoyed. And this back in 2005, when I had just started my undergraduate degree, that really gave me that exposure to all of the -the over-the-counter medications and providing minor ailment advice, which I thought, yeah, this is good. This is a great career to be in. No, I agree. And I think for me, so my background is community pharmacy. And so I've kind of locumed, been a relief pharmacist, tried to see or be in every every community pharmacy type that you can think of. So like you said, Mm. your high street, your small independents, your bigger chains, those affiliated with sort of drug and alcohol misuse clinics, care homes, etc. So yeah, you find what setting works for you. And I think that's another thing with community pharmacy is that we say community pharmacy like it's just one thing, but actually there's so many different types of community pharmacies out there and especially for newly qualified pharmacists those who are early in their career they might actually find that yeah one particular type of community pharmacy doesn't work as well for them as say another type does so it's exploring what as you said what works for you and where you see yourself fitting into as well. 